on a street corner. I think it's because I listened to too many Lucha Villa records when I was growing up. I think it's because I sat through too many espectáculos at the Million Dollar Theater on Broadway. I think it's because I liked doing La Cucaracha dance way too much in third grade. I think it's because desire is memory and I crave it like one of the born-agains in my mama's church. And he says, Amen. And he says, Hallelujah. And I want to go back, go back to the very beginning and speak a neighborhood language like speaking in tongues. Speak con una fuerza de lengua que me tiene asustado. And I speak my truth through memory. But it's hard to be honest sometimes because I live in the shadow of the Hollywood sign. Because I live in the same town that brings you Beverly Hills 90210, a weekly dose of reality. Because I always want to go back to the beginning, and it always begins with on a street corner known as Pico Union, my father made extra money on pool tables, my mother prayed on her knees. A woman danced in the projects across the street. I could hear the sounds of a salsa song as her hips swayed. Each step got bigger and bigger as she thrust out her elbows and clenched her fists. Her husband would beat the shit out of her with large, big hands that looked like hammers. The punches came so fast she had little time to react. A blow would penetrate her face like slow-motion driver training films. Our neighbor would feed pigeons all day with the bird seed wrist that he flicked until all the birds had dropped their guard and gathered around. He would flick a bird seed wrist until he would finally snatch one, living on a diet of downtown pigeon. A drunk from the bar at the corner staggers home, pushing people aside like a politician working a convention. A man on the Pico bus gets slapped after this woman sat on his hand in the seat next to his. He says, if you don't like it, don't sit here. A glue sniffer on Venice Boulevard named Sleepy watches the world in slow motion. On 10th and Union, I forced my first kiss onto Sonia Lopez in third grade. The slap she gave me felt so good, it must have been my introduction into S&M. Bozo the Clown was throwing out gifts to the kids at the May Company on Broadway, and we're all screaming and waving, hoping to catch one. And he throws his board game at this little boy, and it hits him right above the eye, and he topples over. He comes up screaming and crying and bleeding, and I watch in horror, afraid that Bozo will throw something at me. People in this city used to run at the side of a helicopter light, afraid that their sins would show through like the partition at Confession. An earthquake shook and our neighbor is running down Pico screaming that Jesus has come back just like he promised. A woman got slugged, a man got slapped, a clown threw toys, a drunk staggered, an earthquake shook, a slap, a slug, a shove, a kick, a kiss.